you're really getting into a course design role at that point, at selecting the material that fits in. So tell me just a little bit more about what the course actually is. What, you know, who, who's taking this course in the first place? Um, MUT 110 is uh, the basic course for the undergrads here. They're from different majors, say uh, psychology, software engineer, business, arts. So uh, there are a lot of students who, this is the basic requirement, so they have to take this. And um, there will be two, tra two tracks in MAT 110. That is um, one who will take MAT 117 in the next term, and the other will be taking MAT 142 in the next term. So it almost sounds like you must have a pretty broad array of students coming in, or a diversity of students, since it's a general ed course with a variety of majors. Is that your experience, having a broad array of students in there? Yeah. Yeah, actually I helped in designing the course. Actually we mapped uh, the old curriculum into the new curriculum like the, um, the practice exercises that were in the old course. We found the same exercises in the Khan Academy website and then uh, we, we, we made the bookmarks for all the exercises. So we, we had around 65 recommendations for the students for this new course. Beyond the changes in the usage of technology resources, the design and assumption of courses like Math 110 with Khan Academy show a clear change in the role of faculty. So let's get more of a first-hand experience as an instructor, as the instructor for the course. What is a typical week for you as the course is running? What do you do? Who do you interact with? I interact by email and sometimes Google Hangouts with the coaches mm -hmm. and with some of the students. Now, not all of the students are going to contact me about a problem they might have because many of them don't have any problems and that's wonderful. But quite a few of them do have problems either with understanding what they're supposed to be doing or how to do what they're supposed to be doing or how to contact somebody about something and then they'll send me an email. So how do you actually have visibility into which students are doing well or how many students are doing well? How do you know this information? Well, there are two ways that we know this. One is that the Khan Academy has a website that we can go to and we can see exactly which skills, Khan calls them skills, others might call them lessons or assignments, which ones they've been assigned and which ones they've finished successfully and which ones they're still struggling with. So we can look at Khan to see those things. In addition, two of our um, coaches uh, uh, developed a spreadsheet that they could use along with the Khan Academy to download the progress of our students. So we also look at that spreadsheet. Okay. So as you go through this, it sounds like there's quite a change in the role of the faculty member from a traditional course. And since you just got involved several months ago in the design and in instructing it, describe for me the difference in that role. What's changed and how does it uh, affect you as a professor? Before I did this course, uh, the way it's being done now, I had taught MAT 110 online a few other semesters. And the main difference between those experiences and this experience is that with this experience, our students have far more help, far more assistance, far more um, people willing to step up when they need help with anything to try to make them be successful. Mm -hmm. What about the changes for you personally? Um, partly because I think ASU is growing so much, my class sizes are getting bigger and bigger. That probably would have happened even if we were teaching these the way that we taught them before. But well, that's one big change, more and more students. So having these coaches that we have working with us and for us, it's just been priceless. We couldn't do it without them. Okay. So you're, uh, so one thing, it sounds like you're almost over, your role comes into more of an overseeing the coaches for their direct support of the students. Plus, it sounds like you step in to directly talk to students where needed as well. Right. I think that explains it very well.